No, I can't have chicken bees. I don't feel like being in my kitchen and cooking <laughs> whatsoever. I'm waiting to pick up food, halal food. I'm gonna have dinner out tonight. Try again tomorrow to cook. I just feel incompetent in every way of my life right now. I just feel like I don't wanna be here. I feel out of my element somehow. I was feeling like, okay, I wish I could smoke so that I can feel better, but it's like that that just shows you then and there that it's like a temporary mask for like depression, you know? And I'm never gonna touch it again. I promised so many things. <laughs> I promised myself, my husband, my God. I just feel like I'm like unable to face life. And tomorrow's gonna be like minus something or other and I have to, supposed to go to Cornwall and I don't in the least bit feel like it. And if I try to tell my family that after having them wait for so long for me to see them, they're gonna be like, ah, you know, like I just feel like nobody understands me. Or I just feel like all this pressure from everywhere in the world like every part of my life, not everywhere in the world, I mean like, stop beeping. It's just like, and then on the internet, it's just negativity after negativity after negativity. You know, people making me feel bad about the cats. Like didn't FFG euthanize her dog for anxiety? Like why are people coming after me? The same people who go out, like, you know what I mean? How about therapy? Ugh. Therapists make me angry and they get on my nerves. I feel like they're judging me. Mm -hmm. There's something about it. I just don't like telling random strangers things. Finances are not even making me nervous at all. Like, it's not that at all. Because I know finances, like, you can fix those things, you know? I just have a lot to consider. Like, I'm... It's like I'm in between lives. What? And I, I, I kind of just want to smoke. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Like, what the hell? I'm not trying to hide from my problems. I don't even feel like being live, honestly, <laughs> if I'm really honest. I just thought, I, you know, I promised I would. I just want to be with my husband, honestly. Oh my god. Yeah, I feel, oh my gosh, I feel so depressed. I don't like Ottawa, honestly. It's like a barren, frozen landscape. I guess in Kuwait too, like, Muslims are the majority, right? I feel here, like, a, I don't know, like an ISIS member. <laughs> so I feel people look at me, I don't know. Marissa Freeman, the source of your problems is that you lack the conviction to do work to move forward. You went to Kuwait thinking you could erase responsibilities, but that's not realistic, huh? I don't think I thought I could erase them, but maybe, like, escape them for a while, yeah. And I guess there's, like, some Pete's guilt. I feel like... I feel like I'm so important to his life, and I just wish I wasn't. I go back to Kuwait at the end of the month. No, I'm not keeping the villa. We're moving out. That's it. This is our last month there. Goodbye, villa. Goodbye, goodbye. And I guess I have guilt about the cats, but I really don't know what to do. Like, I'm going to be not living here. So, and I just like thinking about how the logistics of bringing them to Kuwait, it's like impossible, you know? I'm a Muslim woman now. And maybe I have guilt from that. People always telling me she's not Muslim, she's not Muslim. Just because I have slip ups and get high from like, do you know how hard it is to change your life? At least I'm trying. What are, The people who are criticizing you, what are you doing? You're just doing nothing. Like, just be quiet. Like, you have no idea who I am. You don't know me. You don't know what I struggle with. Like, worry he's going to forget me or something, even though it's like maybe irrational because we're married. <laughs> but I don't know. I haven't started reading the Quran, but like learning more about Islam yet. I've been praying. No, I didn't dispense rabies. I said I'm not gonna do it anymore. And I don't care if you don't believe me. I'm tired of people, like, making a big deal out of things that make me human. Fuck off. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's me, okay? I'm Muslim and I told you to F off, so what? Everything is legal here and I don't think that's a good thing. In Kuwait, I never saw people strung out on the street, begging for money, being hammered and stupid. I never saw any people like that. It's not legal, you would go right to jail. Dana, eat crap. Always the victim. It's called my life and I go through bad things just like every other human being. I'm not allowed to be in my feels? Like, what? Yeah, I guess I just don't really like Western culture that much anymore. I don't know. I don't feel in my element. <laughs> I know that's bad, but... I don't know. You don't like freedom. What kind of freedom? Freedom to destroy myself? No, I don't. I have to have strict rules? Yeah. No, I do! Like, I can't make my own structure. I can't trust myself. <laughs> oh well. 
If it's cruel, what do you want me to do? I can't bring them with me. You want me to divorce somebody? Sorry, not happening. They'll readapt to a better loving family if I have to give them away. I think it's better than making, having Pete have that responsibility when he needs to worry about his life and take care of his own mental health. People have to rehome. Go cry to FFG who freaking, I found out she euthanized her dog for anxiety, having anxiety over the loss of her other dog. So you know what? Be quiet. Go freaking bur like pounce on her for a change. How did you find that out? I heard it. Like a bunch of people were saying it. Rice. The best rice ever. <gasps> so hot. And then I guess I just have this worry that I just won't be able to be the woman Sala needs and he'll need like five other wives. Like I always have this nightmare. And he's really good at keeping me secure because like anytime I'll be like, what are you doing? He'll send me a picture of what he's doing right then and there. Because he knows how I am. <laughs> it's not healthy to be like that. Someone's freaking out and drunk, see? I'm scared of Vanier. <laughs> Okay, I'll be back. Don't go anywhere, come right back. Bye. Did we brush our teeth? Yeah, I did my best. I'm not begging for anyone. Do I look like a person who begs? Kuwait arc is not ending, it's on hold. And you all need to be with me there. So I ordered some banker's boxes, like those big boxes for moving. Normal clothes. Yeah, like with my everything hanging out like before. No, I don't think wouldn't want that. Can't blame him, I mean. <laughs> You'll miss seeing my back hump. If I get food poisoning, I'm gonna be pretty mad. Not myself. <laughs> <clears throat> no flop. He likes me just how I am. When we go out in public, yeah, we have to behave. Like, I feel like a kid having to behave. Sometimes I'm like, ah, ha, ha, if he makes me laugh. And I'm like, ooh, like I'm laughing too loud. And women don't do that there. Hi, basic, basic. There's like so much restriction for someone like me. That's why people can't believe it, right? It's a male-dominated culture. <clears throat> as long as I'm treated right, I don't care. Honestly, I don't feel oppressed or anything. I feel precious. I guess I have part of me just um, has those traditional values now. More traditional, I guess. I don't know. I'm torn between leaving them with Pete's. But I feel like Sam would be happier somewhere in a green pasture. I want to have a family with Salah. What if the, okay, if the second wife is 600 pounds, then that's okay. I'm honestly too much to handle as it is. I can make your life hell in an instant. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the second wife can do all of the the housewife mother stuff and I can just lay back and watch TikTok all day. It was easier to housewife in the small Kuwait apartment. Of course. Have a good night, everybody. Oh, the Western world. <laughs> welcome to Mary Barbie the Ray Welcome, welcome. Everyone I missed as well. We'll see you next chat. Bye.